Hi everybody, welcome back to Kate Space. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to do another December daily. Uh, this is day six. So for this day, I wanted to talk about how I had bought a new printer, which is not very exciting, I know, but this whole thing for me is just every day, all my everyday little things that don't have to be anything major. It's just a daily kind of record. So I made this the other night when I was just playing around, a little booklet. So this is a little flap that opens and I actually thought I'd put the photo in there because the photo is really not that exciting. Uh, it's got the date on it and it says new printer. So that's pretty self-explanatory. And then I've just folded, so I've folded a last project life grid pattern cards but you could use any kind of paper it's basically um yeah it's just a six by four piece of paper with the corners rounded and folded in half i've stitched around that half of it there but i kind of wish i'd stitched right around it so when you opened it up it was stitched and i could go back and do that but i'm not going to then i've got a few scraps of christmas paper that i've had for ages and i've popped them made a banner and then i punched out all these little circles out of a music paper digital actually and then I've sewn them together so I've sewn one and then kept sewing and so it's made this little banner which I think is real cute so yeah so that's on the first page but I wanted to put something under it so this is the same paper that matches that little line of paper there so I'm going to pop that under there and then I thought a little bit of white lace would be nice which one is so I thought I might tuck that under there, have that peeking out. And that's pretty much it. Oh, that's right. I was going to do, I was going to do my number on here. So I've got my number six. I might just give it a little bit of ink. I don't want too much. And the number six was just going to go, well, I don't want to cover up Mary. So, and it kind of looks a bit weird up there. So maybe it needs to go down here like that. So that's day six, just like that. It's quite nice when you've got pre-made sort of ephemera or tucks or spots or something like that that, um, that you can use. It does speed things up a bit. And then let's glue this all down and I'll probably just speed this up a little bit. Okay. Okay, right, so that's that done, and that opens up, and we've got our little photo, and then I could do some writing here, maybe I will. So we've got time actually to do this one, which is going to be day seven. And for this one, I've actually just got a little Instax print that I'm going to pop on there. It's not a particularly good photo, so down the track it may get replaced, we'll see. But I kind of wanted something smaller for this. I'm using some more of that paper to sort of make it coordinate with the side and then a little bit of the red coming out like that and I thought I just might put my photo on an angle sort of like that and I'm wondering about maybe some stitching around here so that it kind of ties in with that side and then I've got what else have I got I've got some of the lace which I might put down the side have it poking out so you see it when the book's closed, maybe. Let's have a look. Yeah, you will. And then I've punched out a couple of circles that I thought I might put down here. But I don't want to cover up that there too much. Cool. And then I've got number seven. So this is the same. I think it's from the same. I just had these in a plastic bag, I think. Again, there might be something I've acquired from my scrapbooking days. So I'm going to put the seven there. 
I've got a couple of... Oh, there we are. That's sitting over there. I've got this little banner that I made and a little heart. And I've got another little music heart here that I might put next to it. I'm all about the love hearts at the moment. Not sure why, but anyway, we might as well just run with that. <laughs> and yeah, I've got some more of this little circle banner, which I think I will pop on as well. So again, it all sort of ties in. So although it's two different days, because they're um, facing pages or whatever you call them next to each other, I thought I'd tie it all in and that would make it look more, what do you call it, cohesive. Yeah, so I'm just going to sew around there and glue it down and yeah, I'll speed that up a little bit. See you soon. I might just stick this down with a piece of tape because then I can swap it out for a better photo if I can, if I need to. Okay, it's all glued down. This little opening up bit and our little circles and our hearts. Oh, a number seven. Where's number seven going? There. So let's just stick our number seven down. And that's day six and seven done. Yeah, I think I'm getting um, more accustomed to working in the smaller journal, so I'm not sure whether I'll leave these dangling down like that. I probably will. Yeah, that might, I think that's going to maybe be a problem, this little doodacky here. But that's okay. It's not a biggie. All right, starting to get fatter. It's amazing, isn't it, how quickly things and fill up with all the layers and things. Anyway, we've got some quite different colours and different layouts. I thought initially when I started doing this journal that it was all going to be along the same theme using the same kind of papers but then I thought I changed my mind. I thought no I'm going to do just what I feel like on the day like I really wanted to do a pink pretty sort of layout here with with Ella and then use up my scraps here and using up scraps here too. Anyway it'll be interesting to see how it develops. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you'll watch the other videos in the series and I'll see you again soon in the next video. Bye.